okay to be sad, dude. When you think about it, a child's toy is like a person, isn't it? In your head, maybe. The child in those memories knows Squeaky is not a real seal, but in his heart, it may as well be real. Does that mean it doesn't matter whether the toy is real? If the child treats it like it's real, the friendship is real, and that's what matters. I don't know. I think about this a lot lately. Like, does it matter that things exist outside of your perception in general? I can't tell the other person, I can't directly know that another person has a mind, but like it matters, doesn't it? It's not just my relationship to them that matters, they matter on their own. And if I believe that, then I have to believe that it matters whether or not a toy is real. When the toy is lost, so is that friend. That friend is lost forever. That's true, the sense of friendship is gone. Been a page. bit of a book is totally about death, so I should be fine. I probably shouldn't be too selective of the page. I may have just shredded all the pages that were really about death. Tell me, I'd rather sit here and wonder. Um, Alright, La Petite Mort. Anyway, what I'm doing is defacing your book. But it's all in a good cause, so understand humanity a bit better. And think about what if this book is a person? I need to know who it is as a person. Pornographic movies for those interested, and more nitrate and lubricants. Alright, I meant to be thinking about that jewellery. Come on. The jewellery that I lost. Oh man. Well, we have had. I don't think the necklace makes me think about erections. Ooh, but it totally makes me think of skeletons. 
I got it from Whitby, which is one of the few places in the world that's like a source of jet or something, and it's also a super gothic place. Chloe looks looking the way she is. I am nothing. Let's keep that. I am nothing. Not even nothing. Let's keep that. That's lovely. Beautiful. Chloe's shoulder pops mine when we sit around a circle on the shag carpet. We close our eyes, let's close our eyes. Garden of Serenity. It'd be so easy to keep meditation because it's like that makes any topic more meaningful, but I'm gonna take leave it out. the hill to the palace of seven doors inside the palace. That palace is a bit mushed now but I'll keep this one. Very fancy jewellery. Totally makes you think of palaces. I feel like doing this I have more contact with the necklace than if I actually owned it. Like just sat here thinking about it and constructing it in my head and deciding what it meant. Way better than actually having the thing. Door, 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 door. Finding what was there. Eyes closed, we imagine our pain as a ball of white healing light floating around our feet and rising to our knees, our waist, our chest. You know what? I think this book totally takes that exercise seriously. Like it would be so easy for it to be sarcastic about it and to be like, oh we did this dumb visualization thing to try and make ourselves feel better because obviously that's what we sort of associate with this book this like it's where the phrase special snowflake came from like being dissociated from your emotions and that being valorized of course it's all being criticized in the end and being shown to like be super destructive but no one internalizes that message from the book And then just moves on. Lovely. I don't know. Like, I feel like the protagonist is really here for this. I know he's not because he's got insomnia and everything's a copy of a copy of a copy and it's all really far away, but he really experienced that. Well, the necklace is definitely a bit of heart chakra, a bit of throat chakra, but that's not on the list. So let's just have the heart.
Chuck points out that the phrase is actually unique snowflake, not special snowflake. That does seem important. Because, yeah, one of the sort of ways that that phrase changed meaning over the past few years is it started off as a Tumblr, well, no, it started off in this book, but then it was sort of taken up by Tumblr as a way of critiquing um, this fixation on pinning your identity down really specifically and being really precious about it. But then it turned into this thing about emotional sensitivity and kind of criticising that. So this sort of movement from uniqueness to just generally treating your emotions as special in some way. Oh, I don't want to validate that criticism. I think it's important to be a snowflake. very useful having I didn't cry down here all that much after being asked by the game whether I cried. Lovely. Did you feel like you were losing something? Or did you feel like you were creating something? Creating! The words you leave showing, I can feel them. I can feel them stirring emotions inside me. I feel something. And that means I must be human. Fight Club is human! So, La Petite Mort had skeleton. I am nothing. Not even nothing. We close our eyes, the garden of serenity, the palace, finding what was there, our pain, the heart chakra, ice tunnels. I cried, I cried, I didn't cry, so I didn't cry, I didn't cry. Oh, there we are. Say goodbye to that. Hey, Tom, Tumbalaya. Thank you, I'm glad you're enjoying it. The music is the game music. <laughs>